Uh, what I was telling you is that in this unit, we are looking I want to be sure that we are recording, right? Well, what I was telling you is that in this, uh, in this, Unit, we are working with the simple past and we continue working with the simple past. I'm going to share the screen with you. Yes. Okay, so this is our lesson number 13, and we're talking about simple past, just no questions, right? Just no questions. That's what we are uh, talking about. And the objective, participants will be able to write three just no questions using the simple past correctly individually in order to ask them to your class. So you're going to write questions and then you're going to ask the questions to your partners. Let me... mm -hmm. Well, I have just a review for you. Remember yesterday, we were talking about negatives. You say I wasn't interested, you weren't cool. He wasn't kind, that people weren't helpful, they weren't online. I didn't receive any number. You didn't send a contract. He didn't say his name. She didn't call again. He no. didn't buy a product. I want you to give me an example. Yes. Ustedes ven que se esté grabando la clase? Sí, teacher, yes, está teacher. grabando. Ok, es que no, no me aparece acá. Hay un cosito que aparece que nos está grabando. Y el asunto no, es... Pero sí está activa la grabación. Ah. Sí, teacher, está activa, según lo que quiero... Ah, Tu teléfono está aquí. Ah, bueno. Sí, porque si no, ya saben lo que significa, ¿verdad? <ríe> Reponer la clase. Ok. Vale. Sí, pero no, no. Y siempre aquí en la esquinita me aparece recording, pero hoy no me aparece. No. Okay, well, as I was saying, we're talking about the simple past. Yesterday, we were working with the simple past negatives. And the day before, we were talking about the simple past affirmative, right? Now, look at the exercise I have for you. This is like a, like a review of examples. I liked tennis, but I didn't like food, right? I didn't live in London last year. I was 19 years old. I was a student. I was, uh, well, he lived in London. I didn't play the piano, but I played the guitar. They didn't work last weekend. John didn't live in Manchester. Angela didn't drive to work. She went by bus. 
I played football every weekend when I was up to university. So remember uh, something here, and it's that when we use the verb in present, the verb is in past, right? But when we're making the sentence in negative, sorry, when we are in affirmative, the verb is in past, but when we are making the, the sentence in negative, I have the auxiliary didn't and the verb in present, right? Be very careful with the use of didn't as auxiliary didn't and the use of was or wasn't. Remember that we use was or wasn't, if it is negative, with a noun, we said we use it also with an adjective. She wasn't happy, she wasn't sad, they weren't busy. But if we are using other verbs, the auxiliary that we need to use is didn't. I didn't live, didn't drive, and so on. Another thing to keep in mind is the that the expression of time always goes at me. Okay. Now, yesterday also we were talking about time expressions. And we were saying about the use of in on at. What you're going to do right now to review what you remember from yesterday's class is complete the sentences using the correct preposition. I'm going to send it to you there in the chat. And you're going to work a little bit in pairs to complete the sentences. Just let me charge the WhatsApp group and I will send it to you. There you go. I'm going to send you in groups so you work together and complete the sentences. Ready, ready to join the rooms? Yes? Ready. Okay, perfect. Join, join. Try to join Mauricio Waldemar, Darwin, Pedro, Walter. Ready, start to do. Vamos, proyecto. Ok. Eh, bueno, la, la número uno. Si vos sí. vos. Eh, Sería on. She was born. Depende de lo que queramos ponerle, si un mes ahí, si un mes, si un año o, o un día específico. ¿Se ve? Yes. Ok. Vaya, dice cumplir with a Thai expression. She was born. Podría ser, she was born on 
May. Oh, on July. ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es su fecha de nacimiento, Gabriela? <risa> no, dígale. Ay. No. Quiero ver. En November. En in... November. Ok. Para November mí... 18. For me, I, I think uh, put in in years. Oh, I, I was born in 2020, I think. Yes, she was born on July 15, 20. Uh -huh. Y se podrá escribir aquí. Yo creo que no. No se puede. Uh -uh. Bueno, para ir escribiendo. Como estoy desde el teléfono, me costó entrar un mundo. <risa> Ok, entonces, ¿cómo la dejaríamos al final? Vaya, yo pienso sí, que como es, como es tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí. Tiempo, eh, eh, para mí, yo pienso que es She was born in, pongámosle, 1970, other, other, other year. Ok, 1975. Yes. Ok, está bien. Ok, I was born... Pero usualmente cuando habla fecha o, o de qué están hablando, de la segunda. No, first, first, first. 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 Pero cuando son fechas de nacimiento, eh, son date. Por eso, pero. Entonces, sería que... on. She was born. Uh -huh. Tendría que ser on May 10th. O on July. On July, pongámosle. 50, 2020. Ajá. Porque usualmente, por ejemplo, cuando usted lee un libro y dice la biografía, siempre inicia con he was born y dice la fecha exacta o el okay. mes y el año. ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces quedaríamos on July 50. Eh, 1970 ¿Está bien? Ok yes. Ok, second El año, el año, perdón, el año eh... Ahí hay un año Si se fijan a un lado están dando las respuestas Ok ¿Sí? Dice On July 15, 2020 2020, ok Está bien. La Ese es el segundo. Ok, en el segundo. The first and the second sería to visit friends. Ahí podemos decir en la season, puede ser en la summer, en the winter. Ok. En the summer. Oh, in He visited friends. Uh -huh. in, in the, the summer. summer. In the summer. Okay. Yes. In the summer. Okay. We need a help. And at eight o'clock, he wants to ask. También está once, once, 
Dice que él quería hacer una pregunta acerca no. de... Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. Estamos está, en el teacher? número cinco. Sí. Iba a disculparme la bulla, teacher, pero estoy afuera. Eh, salí a comprar unas cosas con mi familia, entonces... Oh, ok. Pero, pero aquí estamos. No, ya estoy a unos minutos de aquí de la casa, pero no, pasaron a comprar no, no y... Se está... oye, fíjese, mucha bulla. Sí. No se, no se oye mucho, quizás tiene buen, buen sonido. <ríe> que el aire un poco. Sí, que bueno. Es que ajá, no, no se oye. Le voy a bajar tal vez a usted, no le... ¿Ahora? No, no sí, se, se oye, le digo, ajá. No, no, el, no, se, no se oye bulla. No se oye no hay... mayor bulla. Ajá. Ajá. Ah, ok, es... perfecto. Ajá, no, no se oye mayor bulla de fuera. Ah, pues sí, buen teléfono, entonces, porque sí, sí no sé. Y aquí sí se oye hasta, hasta el fondo, está, está cantando Luis Miguel ahí. Oh, mire. <risa> Menos mal que dijo que a la tienda yo. <risa> okay. No. Okay, no, no le digo de qué país, ¿verdad? Ah, correcto, sí, está bien. Dice. No, sí me queda cinco minutos de la casa, del, del centro comercial. Okay, Por eso. Está bien. Okay. And the number number five say, right, says he wanted to ask you something. Él quería preguntar algo. Uh -huh. Entonces él podría ser. Eh, quería preguntar algo. Quería preguntar algo at lunch touch at lunch time. Puede ser. Puede ser. Um, And lunch time. Puede ser, lunch. vamos a escribir. Uh -huh. no, vamos a... Sí, así lo podemos dejar en el almuerzo. Lunch time. La siguiente dice: Ellos leen un libro. They read a book. They read a book. Esa es verdad la que va. Sí, esa es justo. En la noche, puede ser. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ellos leen un libro en la noche. Sí. They read a book um, at night. Night. At night. Okay. Okay. Quiero ver cómo at night. At night. At night, okay. Mari, to be told me about the accident. Mary told me about The accident. accident. Eh, podemos escribir on, on last Sorry. Friday, teacher, ¿se puede decir así? Eh, sin el on. Sin el, long. Sin el sí. uh, solo last Friday. Ah, ok. Yeah. Mary told me about the accident last, last, last Friday. Last Friday. Last. Okay. Last Friday. Okay, thank you. In the número nueve, we try to leave early. Ellos intentaron salir temprano, salir muy, o salir tempranamente. Mm -hmm. At, But you don't need to translate the sentence. Morning. Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Pero, mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Intentaron llegar temprano. Temprano. Llegarán a ocupar el mismo horario. At 7 o'clock. ¿Está de acuerdo o.? Oh. Es que. En la afternoon, hay que nos costó hacer esto. Es difícil. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Yes, we, hi. ¿Por qué, Miguel? Why did it last? Because I think so. We, we can use it, the three expressions. Ajá. Uh -huh. Some. Preguntarte algo. For complete the. 
Sí, you just have to see what is the one that you can use. But we eh, can, sometimes we can use the three. It depends ah. on the situation. Ajá, en la número seis sería de usar una parte del día. Quería preguntarte algo. Pero para decir por la tarde. In the afternoon. Ajá, in the afternoon. Sí. In the, no in the afternoon. problem, no problem. Recuerden que ahí usted puede usar cualquier expression. Lo que yo quiero es que utilicen las expresiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? De ahí independientemente usted pueden personalizarla. Usar la que ustedes consideran correcta. No? Ah, pues, ah, pues usemos at lunch time. Uh -huh. Sí, Por lo bueno, general, en la hora del almuerzo nos, es, nos, nos ponemos a platicar. Ajá, I wanted to ask you something at lunch time. At lunch time, okay. But I didn't see you. Right? Así es. Ok. Siete. I wanted to ask you something, but I didn't see at lunch time. Right? But I didn't see. Más. I didn't see. Okay. They read a book. Este. Ellos leen un libro. Ajá. Una hora. En la en la noche cuando uno sí. de... Ajá, at, at eight, at, uh, at ten thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. At ten thirty p.m. Mary told me about the accident. La ocho. Sí. Mary told me about the accident. Uh, sí. Yo me pregunto si hay un accidente on vacation. Eh, ella habló de un accidente. Sí, ella me, me, me contó acerca de un accidente. No fueron. But you don't need to translate the sentences, just complete them. Pero ahí, eh, teacher, se, si uno quiere decir algo antes de eso, no podemos meter otra palabra. Por ejemplo. Eh, por ejemplo, en esta oración que dice que Mari le habló sobre un accidente, este, ¿cómo se dice? O, o ¿Qué pasó? Para poner, ¿qué pasó hoy? Y dar una hora. O no, sola, just complete with the date. Mary told me about the accident eh, two days ago. Well, Mary told me about the accident last night. Right? Ah, va, está bien. At last, at last night. No. At night. At night at, or last night? En, en at, la noche. At, at, at night. night. Sí. Uh, at night. Mary told me about the accident at night. Sí, tiene razón. En la noche nos reunimos en familia para hablar de lo que nos pasó en el día. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay, I to leave early. Try to leave early. No sé, mi amor, ahí está, ahí está, buscando. Number number nine. We try to leave early. On vacation. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, you can use any any expression of time, right? Okay. Number ten is a simple. They wrote wrote report in the summer. We like our food. We like our food. A nosotros nos gusta. Don't translate. No translation. No translation. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, like. miss. Las instrucciones no son traduzcan las oraciones, sino que son complétenlas. Okay. Right? We like our food. We like our food. When we were children, for example, right? Or we liked our food yesterday. Mm -hmm. mm. We liked food yesterday, or um, we like our food in the. After. Yeah. In the after. after. Yeah. In the okay. afternoon. Okay, Carlos. Okay. Very nice. We finish. Excellent. Let's yes. go then. Coming, coming. 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Okay, I see. Now we are complete. Yeah. Let's see. How was it? Was it easy? A little bit? Yes. I almost saw that. Little easy. Mm -hmm. She was born. Who wants to complete the first sentence? She was born. Mm -hmm. On May 10th, teacher. She was born on May 10th. Okay. On May 10th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who wants to read number two? He visited friends in the summer. Okay. Number three. Mm -hmm. What about number three? We needed help in the morning. Okay, number four. What about number four? They expect did ask to go at 7 30 p.m. Okay, very good. We needed to buy food on Sunday. We needed to buy food on Sunday. Mm -hmm. We needed to buy some to buy food on Sunday. Very good. Number six. What about number six? We want to we ask you something. Ask you something. We want Excuse to ask me, Carlos. You. No, no, dígalo usted. No, en coro lo dijimos. Pero... <laughs> si when, <laughs> when he wanted to ask you something, when? 
at night? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. afternoon at night, that's A. Uh -huh. They read a book. That's very They read a book on vacation. Mm -hmm. They read a book on vacation. Uh -huh. Mary told me about the accident. Mary told me about the accident. At night. At night. Uh huh. We tried to leave early. In the morning. In the morning. Uh huh. They wrote a report. They wrote a report. Mm -hmm. They wrote a report in the morning. Huh. In the afternoon. Okay. They wrote a report in the morning or in the afternoon. Number 11, she brought me fruit. Last Christmas. Imagine last year. <laughs> this year, so. <laughs> a year ago, because it was last Christmas. Okay, we, we sent him a message. At noon. Mm -hmm. I started the lesson. I started the lesson in the afternoon. He mm -hmm. said that he will come. On Christmas. In Christmas, okay. And we like our food. On Christmas. Okay, I said that we have to eat in We liked our food in on Christmas. Okay. Nosotros yes. escribimos como estaba en presente. We like our food every day. That's right. Okay. Okay. You like the chompipi. Okay. Sí. Now, continuing with the review, we have some questions here. Check. Uh, or oh, some sentence, sorry. What we are going to do is make negative sentences. Make negative sentence. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Vaya, she, she didn't she didn't mention this to her boss. She didn't mention this to her boss. What? She didn't mention this to her boss. What about the next one? We didn't go out last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. We were in class, so we didn't go out. Okay, we didn't go out last night. Number three. Tony, Tony didn't ask the girl for permission. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask. Okay, number four. Mary? Didn't not used to be there. Didn't need us to be there. Yeah, didn't need us to be there. Number five. Jack. Didn't ask as used for help. Mm -hmm. Didn't ask us. Yeah, Jack didn't ask us for help. Number six, Betty.
What about this? Betty didn't call me as she promised. Didn't call me. Betty didn't call me as she promised. And number seven. Mark didn't work all day. He got sick. He got sick. So he didn't work for a day. Number eight, Peter. Peter didn't explain the situation to us. Mm -hmm. He didn't explain. Number nine, Peter didn't explain. You may explain the situation to us. Number nine, Margaret. Margaret didn't help us with the report. Help us with the report. Margaret didn't help us. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Betty Betty didn't like her present. Betty didn't like her present. Uh, Sonia? Sonia didn't ask where they found. Brian. Brian didn't come to class yesterday. Mm -hmm. Brian didn't come to class just. Okay, great. Questions here. No, that, that, that's it. Now, we have a reading. Uh, what you're going to do here is read about Mrs. Mendoza, right? Mrs. Mendoza and Mrs. Torres. They are both describing their experiences with two different things. So what you're going to do is read the experiences and then answer these two questions. Okay, go ahead. Read it first for you and then we will read it together. And after that, I will need for voting to read. Okay, Mrs. Mendoza says, I had a problem with the payroll system, but a technician came to help me with, with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he brought. He gave me a cup of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. That was Mrs. Mendoza. And then on the other side, we have Mr. Torres. Uh, he said, I had a problem with the car's engine, and so I called for assistance. 
the mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem too. He gave me details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was... These are two totally different experiences, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions about meaning or pronunciation here? <laughs> No sé, es la princesa Fiona. Esa <risa> broma, ve. Ajá, Marcel. No sé, Marcel. No questions. No. Okay, repeat after me. I had a problem with the payroll system. I had a problem with the payroll system. But a technician came to help me with it. But a technician came to help me with it. He solved it. He solved it. He solved it. He solved it. But he, he didn't say it. anything. But he didn't say anything. He even charged me for the piece he broke. He even charged, he charged me for me a piece, piece he, broke. he broke. He gave me a copy of the report. He, he gave, gave me a copy, copy of, the of the report. report. But I didn't understand it. But I didn't, I didn't understand, understand it. it. Besides all that, besides, besides all, all that, that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. I forgot, I forgot to mention that she came very, 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 very late. Okay, very good. Now we have the other one, Mr. Torres. I had a problem with the car's engine. I had, I had a had problem, problem with, with the car's engine. So, engine, right? Engine. Engine. Angel. Angel. So I call for assistance. So, so I, I call, call for assistance. For assistance. The mechanic was really kind. The mechanic, the mechanic was, was really, really, kind. Kind. really kind. kind. He was there really fast. He was, he was there really, really, really fast. fast. And he was quick to fix my car's problem. And he was He gave me details about the incident. He gave me details, details about, about the, incident. the incident. And he gave me a report of it. And he gave, and he gave me a report of it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Then, then I started the engine, engine and everything, and was, everything perfect. Was, was perfect. Okay, very good. Now, what you're going to do here is answer this question, right? So you have, did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Okay, so what do you think? Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? Yes, she did. Yes, yes she did. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Mm -hmm. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Yes or no? No, no, he, no didn't. he didn't. No, he didn't. Who did he call? The mechanic. Oh, the mechanic. There we go. Okay. Nice. Now, we're talking about questions, right? Did you call a mechanic? 
Remember what we said at the, uh, in the previous exercise when we were talking about negative? In negatives, we use the auxiliary and the verb goes in present. When we talk about question, it's exactly the same. We use the auxiliary in the beginning of the sentence, and then we use the verb in the present, the base verb, right? Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Yes, I did. Go on. No, I didn't want to show it. We give a short answer. Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Did they sign the letter? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay, any questions here about how to make questions? Hmm? No questions on how to make questions? The structure is basic, right? And easy, but you tell me if you have any questions here. Sure. This is yes, no question. That means that the answer will always be yes or no, right? Yes or no, but I cannot say only yes. I cannot say only no. I have to say yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Yes, for it did. No, we didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. So the, the pattern or the structure does not change in the answer. You see? It doesn't matter if you have I, she, we, they. doesn't matter. You use exactly the same form. Because in the past, we don't have to worry for it. Or using first person or second or third person or it is singular or plural. In this case, there is no difference at all, right? So no problem with that. If you want to give me a complete answer, you can do it too. Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did. She paid $20 extra, right? So you can give me some extra aid. And you can give me a long answer here. Yeah? It's not that no possible. Yes, it is. You can give me a long answer. Now, look at this. I have some questions for you. So I'm going to give you time for you to ask each other. Check the structure, right? Did you study the lesson last night? And then you answer, yes, I did. Or... No, I didn't. But um, you can also give some extra information, right? Did you study the lesson last night? You say, yes, I did. I, I did some exercises to practice more. Did you go to work yesterday? No, I didn't because it was my day off. Right? So you can give some extra information there to answer the question. Well, I'm going to send you in groups for you to take turns asking each other and practicing with the question. Let me see, I'm going to send you to a different group. Any questions there? Mm -hmm. No questions. No teacher. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try to, right, to join the rooms and take turns asking the questions to each other. Remember, give your answer and a little bit extra information, right?
Sí, que se había unido al grupo y me dio problema. ¿La muevo si gusta? Vuélvame a mandar, teacher, por favor. La voy a mover a otra, porque aquí en Zoom no se puede llamar al mismo. Pero yo la voy a mover a otro grupo. Ahorita. Vamos. Eh, teacher va a mandar la imagen de lo que vamos a hacer el micrófono teacher o oh, si no en el manual está sorry, sorry. no ahorita se la estaba mandando ah, bueno. ahorita sí, se, me, se me escapó pero ahorita se las acabo de mandar allá el chat de, de... Sí, sí, ya están las, las, las preguntas afirmativas. Uh -huh. Excelente. La primera dijo que era la... Vamos a usar did you y vamos a, a tener todas y según la oración vamos a contestar, ¿verdad? Si es positive o negative. Yes, exacto. Okay. Okay. Norma. Ah. Hola Kelly. Hola Gabriela. Hola. Cada Hola, oración sería una pregunta, entonces. Sí. La primera sería: Did you study the lesson last That's night? Nice. Ah, pero este ahí caso, podría contestar para practicar. Yes, I did o no I did. Ajá, exacto. No I didn't. Pongámosle yes I did porque sí es sí estudiamos la lección cada noche con la tisha. Yes, very good. <risa> yes, obviously. And the second question sería Did you go to work yesterday? Yes, si gustan yes, cada, yes. digamos, ahorita yo dije eso, luego una dice otra y así para que todos practiquemos también la entonación de las preguntas. Vaya. Ok. Do you play a game last Sunday? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bueno, y la segunda que era para, para eh, así, es, ah. sí. Positive. Yes. Did you go yes, to work yesterday? Yes, sí. I do. Vale, la otra. Eh, did you go shopping last month? No, sí, I, I don't. Like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> But, the next week. <laughs> shopping the materials, the colegio. <laughs> the, the books. Of books. And later, sería, teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Gojin. Go gojin yesterday. Jogging. 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 Okay. Jogging. Jogging. Did you ¿Qué significa? Jogging yesterday? Jogging es cuando va a correr... Pero corriendo así, suave. No suave. trotando. Para no cansarse. <ríe> cansarse. <ríe> para cansarse un poquito, pero no, no, no es carrera, carrera. No, no es como una a maratón. Ganar. Ajá, no es a maratón, sino que, que va corriendo. Como tipo. Ah, correr relax casi. <ríe> sí. Eh, no, I didn't. Get up early on Sunday. Uh, do you get up early on Sunday? Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I 
Sí, hay que aprenderlas conforme a nuestro diario vivir. Sí, eso. Sí. Did you drive to work two days ago? Ah, no, yo no. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Yes. Drive to work two days ago. Sí, yes, que si manejamos al trabajo. I did. Todos, yes, no, I did. No, no, I didn't. Solo Norma so, maneja. Y la teacher, oh. posiblemente. Yo voy de copiloto. <laughs> No, yo también. No. I don't drive. Ah, I'm a copiloto too. <laughs> sí. Bueno. I died. Yes, I did. The next is, did you spend time with your family? Mm, spend time. With es como si, si pasas tiempo como de calidad o algo así yes. con tu familia. Ajá. Sí, yes, I did. Yo. Yes, I do. Yes, I did. Do you listen to music yesterday? Yes, I did. Este, did you watch TV last Saturday? No, I don't. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Sí, yo también, yes. Pero pongámosle yes or no. Um, the answer no, no hay problema, es más que todo para practicarlo. And the last, did you read a book last week? Yes, I do. Sí. Yes, no, I, I did. did. No, I didn't. Bye. Eso sería nada más, va. Sí. Yes. Ready, teacher. <laughs> Your phone. Thanks. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. Solo voy a ir a ver un grupo más y me lo llevo. Me voy a comprar. Uy. De ahí la siguiente dice, uh -huh. did you go joining yesterday? Yo Yesterday. Que es jo, jo, jogging. 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 Si, fue, si fueron de carrera. ¿Fueron? A correr. A, a, ok. A carrera. Um, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. did, you, uh, did you get up early on Sunday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Sí. Sí. Okay. Yes, I did. Um, did you drive to work two days ago? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, uh, Carla? No, se fue Carla. No, no, estoy bien. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Did you spend time with your family? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Sí. Ahora. Yes, I did. And the answer. Next. Next answer. Uh, did you listen to music yesterday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, yes I did. Sí. Okay. Every day. Every day. Sí. <laughs> No, no vivo yo sin estar escuchando música. Sí. Sí, no, no puedo estar sin bullita. Ah, pues Carlita y yo, yes, I did. Ok. Did you watch, watch TV last Saturday? Saturday. Yes, I did. Eh, sí, yes, I did. Yes, I did. También, sí lo hacemos. Soy poco de televisión, más de música, pero sí lo hago. Okay. Um, the last one, did you read a book last week? No, yes, I, I did. didn't. Yes, I didn't, pero I listened in the book. 
<laughs> okay. No, okay. 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 Sí, eso no, sería no, como el ejemplo. Cuento. Teacher, yo les digo a, a mis compañeras que es, o sea, interesante porque si son, uno se le queda más rápido a este tipo de respuesta. Sí, sí. Que nos está costando como un poco um, el, el soltarnos al querer hablar inglés porque a veces es pues, posible. Sí, primero, eh, por, por cuestión de pena, creo que coincidimos la mayoría. Es que eso es lo que sí. pasa, la pena. Exacto. Sí, yo no sé cómo quitarme esa pena. Sí, <risa> independientemente lo diga bien, lo diga mal, pero si, si uno no se equivoca, no aprende, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ay, sí, Parece que lo manda a los grupos chiquitos, porque yo sé que aquí sí se sueltan. <risa> <risa> no, allá, allá con el grupo grande le da pena, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero, pero no, y que uno se bien. sangra la lengua seguido por estar hablando. Y ustedes los periquitos desde dónde están cuando están escondidos. No, lo, lo, lo que dice, lo, lo que me preocupa dice, este, todos entendieron. ¿Sí? ¿No hay preguntas? No, no, no. Y de ahí es un gran signo de interrogación. No, pero vamos, teacher, o sea, poco a poco, porque sí le, o sea, lo que yo les, les cuento a mis compañeras es que como, como y compañero, que ahí está Miguel también, este, eh, ha sido como interesante el hecho que el, el agudizar el oído, o sea, el, el estar escuchando solo en inglés, si el, 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 la primera semana, teacher, yo le confieso, yo como si era chucho en procesión, o sea, más perdido que, que pero, pero, pero de ahí sí como de, no, tengo que meterle, porque si no, pues sí, verdad, el mal me lo hago yo. Y así voy poco a poco, le digo a Tamara y le digo yo a Carla. Y a no, Miguel. es que eso es normal. Sí. Es normal. Yo felicito a mi hijo porque mi, Miguel dice, la Miguel yo no puedo dar un montón de preguntas y eso es bueno. Sí. sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. sí. Eso es bueno. Sí. Porque cuando no, pero... busca preguntar, si hay cualquier duda, hay que aprovechar y de aclarar esas dudas en el momento. No, pero yo, yo me comprometo a quitarme ese, ese miedo ya estos, estos días porque sí ya, hay eh, que tener la pena. Hay que empezarle a dar ya esto porque sí, sí. si no, no vamos Grávese, a no más. solito. Grávese, a, y después a veas. con los compañeros. Por ejemplo, yo como con quien era compañera antes era con Ronald. Y Ronald ah. cuando me manda mensaje, me manda mensaje en inglés para que le respondan en inglés. <risa> Está, bien. Está, bien. Está bien, porque así prácticamente la, obli la obliga, ¿verdad? A poner en la obliga, porque tenemos que hablar en inglés y me manda todo en inglés. Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. Es una manera de práctica. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. no, la verdad que sí. Lastimosamente yo comenzamos nosotros cinco compañeros de los cinco solo he quedado yo entonces yo les digo puchica o sea tenían que haberle o sea metido un poquito más porque a veces no que el tiempo y todo eso le digo si no uno no hace el esfuerzo nunca va a superar eso Exacto, o sea, me... que no es fácil trabajar y estudiar sí, no, no, no es fácil no, y... pero, pero se logra se logra claro pero... claro y el asunto sí. es eh, que hay que tener también un poquito de disciplina, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Porque sí. a veces uno así como, ay, no quiero, ¿verdad? no quiero, me siento cansado. Pero eh, trabajando uno siempre va a estar cansado. Sí. Es, es sí. como para... El, el tiempo pasa y no dice nada desde uno, ¿eh? Ajá. Sí. ¿Y cuánto tiempo a veces en el teléfono, desvelándonos y cosas así. Sí, sí. sí. Hacer, vale la pena. Sí, sí, en la realidad sí. Vale sí no, cuando, no. cuando yo le escucho hablar, teacher, o sea, se oye tan fácil y lo hace sí. ver tan fácil, tan, sí. tan que fluye natural. Fluido, y, yo, y, yo no puedo, y yo no veo. <risa> sí. En mi mente lo pienso, pero... <risa> Sí, claro. Así se o sea, empieza. Mi, mi cerebro no termina de conectar con mi lengua. 
Sí, sí, Así sí, se sí, empieza, sí. pensándolo y después poco a poco cuando sienta va a estar hablando inglés y mi cuenta se va a dar. No, pero me cuesta desenvolverme cuando ya estoy hablando porque siento que vocabulario tengo bastante, pero como que me falta cuáles son las como para hacerla. Para armar. No. Armar. Ajá. Armar. Fíjese que lo importante es que vaya tratando de, de, de conectar o de seguir los patrones. Ok. Los patrones de las oraciones. Yo me acuerdo que uno de los temas que a mí de estudiante me costó fue el present perfect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Recuerdo que la maestra nos dijo, apréndanse una oración afirmativa, una negativa y una pregunta. Y van a ver. Y cabal, yo eso hice, eso me, me la aprendí. Y, y después, uh -huh. con el tiempo, cada vez que me salía una oración en tres centros, yo me iba a la oración que tenía en mi cabeza, ¿verdad? Okay. Y okay. eso me recordaba que el verbo iba en paz para éxito. Entonces, sí. esas son cosas que, que así de poquito, ¿verdad? En, en poquito, cuando uno siente ya se, se hacen parte de uno, se termina sí. familiarizando y se hace mucho más. Ok, ok. Sí, porque a mí lo que me cuesta un montón es el pasado. Sí. El tema sí. de ayer, a mí me cuesta un montón. Sí, el pasado no es muy fácil. El asunto es que hay muchas cosas que recordar ahí, muchas cosas sí. que memorizar. Y los verbos, los tipos de verbos, cada verbo diferente al otro, pues. Sí. Ajá. Y es, digamos que es el perfect test y está el perfect participle. Y ese ya es otro, ¿no? el past participio, ¿verdad? Entonces, Exacto, ese es otro. Es ese es otro. Es otro. Entonces, ajá, sí. sí, pero poco a poco. Y si se han fijado, por eso es que al chat, al final de la clase, yo me he quedado mandándole una canción, un link, o cualquier sí, cosa. Sí. Para sí. que ustedes puedan hacer eh, extra práctica. ¿Verdad? Sí. Para que... le, le, le comentaba, teacher, y tal vez para todos, ahí en Spotify uh -huh. hay unas canciones en inglés que abajo, ustedes se van a la parte de abajo de la canción, aparece la letra de la canción y ustedes la pueden ir eh, a, Ajá. A, para ahí. A, a mí me gusta practicar. Practicando. Con la diabetes, practicando. Porque sí, siento sí. que ella las canta un poco que yo puedo entender las palabras. Adel, Adel. Adel. Ah, sí, Adel, Adel es muy buena para, o sea, la, la, el inglés de ella es muy, muy, o sea, se le entiende bastante. Sí. Ajá. Ahí. Pueden escuchar música de los 70 también. De los, ajá, también. Los, los Francia, Beatles. Son, ajá. Ajá. Son bastante. Bennett, también, de de es lo que le gusta ese género. Exacto. Es bueno también. Así el oído Michael se va acostumbrando. Lean. Lean. Okay. Este, hay una página que se llama agenda.web. Con doble agenda. Web. Esa página, ahí ustedes pueden escuchar, pueden encontrar ejercicios de práctica para vocabulario, para listening, para reading, para gramática. Agenda, dice teacher. Agenda web. Escribe agenda.web. Y ese agenda. Eh, agenda web. Ese le va a dar. Eh, o sea, ahí tiene. Que... Access, ahí sale, sí. Exacto. Ah, sí, aquí está. Ahí tiene un montón de ejercicios como practicar vocabulary, como practicar structure. Entonces, y ahora tiene listening también, tiene reading. ¿Verdad? Y lo mejor de todos esos ejercicios es que usted hace el ejercicio y le va a dar la respuesta. Entonces usted perfectamente puede ver cómo, cómo salió. Ok, ok. Se les va a ayudar. Y agarrar confianza. Sí. sí. Bien, es lo más importante. Hay una aplicación también, teacher. Yo no sé si, si usted la recomienda o no. Pero yo ya tengo casi dos años de estarla. Eh, usando es esta Duolingo. Duolingo, Duolingo la, 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 la recomienda mucho también. Okay. Sí, y es buenísima. Yo realmente me ha gustado y se empila y me he pasado bastante rato. Y, 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 y un apartado 
en el mismo duolingo hay un apartado solo para pronunciación. Sí. Sí, y ahora los dictionaries online le traen también, no es como cuando usted agarraba el diccionario en papel y ahí solo le salían cómo se pronunciaba la palabra, pero no había forma de oírla. Hoy en, en los diccionarios online usted puede perfectamente darle clic a la bocinita y escuchar okay. la, la pronunciación de las palabras. Eso es otra cosa que también. Y esos son otros temas, por ejemplo, los, no sé si se llaman fonemas también. En Ajá, de fonemas. Uh -huh. Ajá, están, eh, que cuesta, porque para practicar esos sonidos, para que le salga a uno natural la palabra, es, es otro. Sí, pero es como le digo, esa es la práctica. Ahí, eh, ¿qué tanto se va a tardar en aprender? Depende del tiempo que le dedique a practicar. ¿Verdad? Así es que, sí, porque a veces lo, lo que siento, quizás es que me meto en demasiada información, como que me, me saturo porque quiero aprender para ver, quiero aprender de los fonemas, quiero aprender de todo al mismo tiempo. Pero eso es bueno, entre más usted se exponga al idioma, más fácil se le va a hacer. Ok. ¿Verdad? Así es que hay, okay, que, oír, hay que oír música, de tele, de todo lo que se ve. Ah, sí. las, de hecho, yo las películas que ya me puedo de memoria en español, hoy las estoy poniendo en inglés. Excelente, para... excelente. Ah, eso es muy okay. bueno. Bueno, vámonos. Sí. Let's vámonos. go. Okay. Let's go. Vámonos. Ya conversamos un poquito. Vamos a break up. Vaya, let's go. Let's go. Aquí está. Hey. A ver, checking. No here yet. Okay, everybody back. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to share. Check. A ver, Marcelo, did you study the lesson last night? Microphone, Marcelo. Perdón, teacher, excuse me, teacher. Eh, the lesson last night? Eh, eh, sinceramente, teacher, eh, eh, no, I don't, I don't. I didn't. I, I didn't. didn't, perdón, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, Marcelo, ask the next question to Eduardo. Eduardo, okay. I did, Eduardo. Good Tell night. me. Good evening, Eduardo. Good evening. Uh, I did go to work yesterday. Did you yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Eduardo asked Tamara. Uh, Tamara, did you did you play a game last Sunday? No, I didn't. Tamara asked Jessica. Hello, Jessica. Hi, Tamara. Did you go shopping last month? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes. Jessica <laughs> asked Pedro. No sé si Pedro está por allí. No, Pedro. Sí, ahí está, pero vamos a preguntarle. Pedro. Pedro. No, no. Okay, ask Carla then. Okay. Carla, did you read a book last week? 
Yes, I did. Okay, Carla, yes, yes. Walter. Okay. Uh, Otra vez, empiezo o puede ser cualquiera. Ay, cualquiera. Okay. Did you go to work yesterday? Walter. No, he are one. I was asked Bella. Okay. Bella, did you go shopping last month? Bella, Bella. Yes, I did. Okay. Bella, ask a question to Miguel. Did you watch TV last Saturday? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, Miguel, ask Herman. Uh, Herman, did, did you read a book last week? Yes, I did. Okay, Herman, ask Carl, ask Gabriela. Uh, Gabriela, did you drive yes. to... Did you drive to work two days ago? No, I didn't. Okay, Gabriela, ask Carla. Did, did you spend time with your family? Uh, yes, I did. Carla, ask Norman. Okay, Norman, did Hello. you pay? Again last Sunday? Again. Okay. Um, repeat, repeat, please. Play again last Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you... No, I didn't. <laughs> okay, great, great. Yes. But now look at this. I have some example questions for you. Did you want something to eat? You can say, yes, I did. Repeat after me. Did you want something to eat? Yes, you I did. Something to eat? Something to eat? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. did she call you back? Did, did, did she, she call you back? back? No, she didn't. No, no she, she didn't. didn't. Did your friends bring something? Did your friends did you bring something? something? Yes, I did. Yes, yes I did. Did it make any weird noises? Did it make, did it did make it any weird noises? noises? Yes, it did. Yes, yes it, it, did. Did. it did. Did we watch that movie before? Did, did we watch, watch that movie, movie before? before? Yes, we did. Yes, yes we did. Did, did the children participate in the game? Did, did the children participate, participate in the game? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Did, did. did you eat breakfast this morning? Did you eat breakfast, did you eat breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did it rain yes, last night? Did it rain did it last, rain last, last night? night? No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, did you go on a trip last weekend? Did you, did you go on a trip, last, trip weekend? last weekend? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did they attend university together? Did, did they attend, attend university, university together? together? Yes, they did. Yes, yes they, they did. did. Did the store give you a discount? Did the store did give, the you store give you a discount? discount? No, they didn't. So no, they didn't. Right. They didn't. Right. Vale. These are examples for you to remember the structure, right? Did me. Did bring. Did go. Did watch. So the verb here will always be present. Okay. Now we're going Roger to. Happy make... last day. Yes, I was. No, I was. I was. Yeah, now okay. checking questions with the verb to be. When you make a question with the verb to be, what you do is put the verb to be at the beginning. 
right? Were you happy last night? Happy last night. Yes, yes I was. Oh, no, I, no, I wasn't. Were you at home last week? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. No, I was. Did you have breakfast this morning? Did you have this If you yes, check I... in these questions, you were giving short answer, but you can give a long answer too. Did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. That'll be short. I have fried brown beans and scrambled eggs. Frijoles molidos, right? That's brown molidos. Or you say, no, I didn't. I didn't eat anything all morning. Were you at a concert yesterday? Yes, it was. Hasta ahí está bien. Short answer. But if you want to give a long answer, you add, I was at a concert yesterday. Oh, no, I wasn't. Negative. I wasn't at a concert. I wasn't at a concert. Were you at a concert yesterday? No, I wasn't at a concert. I was at home. Did you go to the concert yesterday? Yes, I did. Short answer. Yes, I did. I went to the concert yesterday. It was great. Oh, mm -mm. no, I didn't. I didn't go to the concert. I was very busy. Right? So when you answer a question, a yes, no question, you can give a short answer or you can give a long answer, depending on the situation. Okay? Any question here? Question. No question. No question. Vaya, now we are going to make questions here. Check. We have just no questions. Did you play baseball? Repeat. Did you play baseball? Did you play baseball? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, did. I, did. I played baseball all afternoon. I played play baseball, baseball all, all afternoon. afternoon. Did you play baseball? Did you play baseball? No, I didn't. No, no I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't play baseball at all. I didn't play baseball at all. Did you meet Jane in middle school? Did you meet Jane in middle school? Yes, I did. I met her there. Just say yes, I did. Yes, I, did. I, I met her here. her here. No, I didn't. I didn't meet her there. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. I, I didn't, didn't meet her, her here. there. Were you home yesterday? Were you, Were home, you home yesterday? yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was there all day. Yes, yes I, I, was. Was. I was. I was there, I was all, there day. all day. Yeah. Were you home yesterday? Were you home yesterday? No, I wasn't. I wasn't there at all. I wasn't there at all. At all significa para nada. Oh. Para nada. No estuve en, el, no estuve en la casa para nada. La, la, teacher, la fluidez ah. es la pronunciación at all. At all, sí. Okay. At all. Perfecto. Si es inglés británico, le va a decir a todo. Right? Pero American English, a todo. Now, let's write the questions. You have the answers here. What you're going to do is write the questions. Go ahead. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to write the questions for each of the answers.
sería de que nosotros hagamos la pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. Ahí tiene la respuesta. Ustedes tienen que hacer la pregunta. Number one. Did you? Did you send the, pay, the email? Did you send the email? Mm -hmm. Number two. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Did you send the email? Yes, I did. Está buena esa, teacher. Sí, did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email. Okay. What about number two? Did they check the package? Did they check the package? The package, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yes, did they check the package? No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Number three. Uh, teacher, one question. Tell me. Uh, con respecto a la primera eh, que dice, yes, I did, I sent the email. Quiero hacer un comentario. Fíjense que yo trato la manera de hacer la tarea en medio de la, de la clase uh -huh. para no atrasarme porque no puedo durante el día ni cuando vengo. Pero esa primera en particular está en la tarea y a mí me sale mala. De hecho, ninguna me la ha, eh, ninguna me la ha aceptado. Y no estoy tan mal. Yeah. Porque ahorita acaba de hacer Did they check the package? package? Se parece a la segunda y tampoco no me la acepta. De hecho, lo, con la tarea también de ayer, tampoco di en, en hacerla bien. Así que ya me quedé con dudas ahí. Porque ah. no las agarra. Y le pongo el, el signo de interrogación también. ¿Tiene mayúscula al principio? Sí. Le sí, así como está escrito ahí en rojo, eh, did you send the email? Y no. Me la acepta. Vale, vamos a ver, Kelly. Proyectémoslas para verla y todo vamos a salir bien. Eso. Ay, sí. Ya vamos a ver qué es que, que no me sale. Bueno. No, Vaya, vamos a hacer una cosa. Terminemos de hacerla acá uh -huh. y después vamos a ir a ver en la plataforma qué es lo que pasa, porque no se la da. Ok, bueno. teacher. Vaya, number three. Yes, it is. The car started again. Did, did you the car start again? Did the car... Did you the car start again? Uh -huh. Aquí no le vamos a poner you. Nuestro sujeto va a ser the car. The car. Mm -hmm. Did It's... the car start again? Yes, it did. Yes. ¿Por qué? ¿Sabes por qué? Porque la respuesta es it. Si llevara you, la respuesta sería yes, I did. Pero dice did. It. Did the okay, car start again? Yes, it did. The car started again. What about number four? We received a copy of the receipt. Mm -hmm. Did you receive a copy of the receipt? Mm -hmm. No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. What about number five? Did he buy a new tire? Yes. Did he buy a new tire? Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Okay. Number six. Did she understand a word I said? Uh huh. Did she understand a word I said? Mm -hmm. No, she didn't. She didn't understand a word I said. Very good. Okay. Bye. Vamos a ver. What number, Kelly? Uh, 
Ahorita las estoy haciendo, teacher. En la primera es I sent con, con T al final. Y la puse como usted la hizo. I consent eh, está en pasado, en la primera. Y entonces yo la, la usted la puse en presente ahí. La puse yo ahí me agarró. Ajá. Es que sí. Acuérdese que en la, pregun en la pregunta el verbo va en presente. Que va en pasado en la auxiliar. ¿Verdad? El verbo tiene que ir en presente, aunque en la respuesta afirmativa esté en pasado. En pasado. Y la segunda, esas dos he podido arreglar ahorita. Y así estoy, en, ahorita voy por la tercera. Ya cambié también, a ver si me la agarra. Put the verb in present. En, en la tercera, es, es yes, I did, I went. Sería el was. ¿Cuál es el pasado de go? Digo, el presente de, de went. Go. Go. Ajá. Then you say, did you? Quiero ver. No, no me la agarro. Ponga el verbo en presente. ¿Cuál es el presente de went? Go. Go. Tell me your question. Oh, sí, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Did you go to the meeting? What? Sí, así está. Okay, what about number four? Yes, I did. He bought. Ah, el bought. Ajá. Ah, pues bueno. esto lo voy a ir cambiando ahorita. Sí. Acuérdese que eh, cuando hacemos una pregunta usamos el auxiliary past y el verbo tiene que ir en present. ¿Verdad? El único momento en que el verbo va en past es en la afirmative sentence. Y okay. me imagino que en la de ayer, Kelly. Ha de ser la misma situación, que el verbo tiene que estar en presente porque... Sí, ya, que, ya, la voy, ya la voy a volver a hacer entonces ahí. She didn't play, she didn't swim, she didn't go, she didn't like. ¿Verdad? El verbo tiene que ir en presente. Sí, Tisha, ya me están agarrando así. Okay. <ríe> Gracias. Bueno, bueno. Vaya, vamos a ver... So remember the, aux the auxiliary did and the verb in present, right? Auxiliary did, verb in present. Okay, I have some more practice for you here. Check. What you're going to do in this exercise is put the words in order to form questions. Put the words in order to make questions. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. One teacher. Did you primer. understand my question? Aha. Uh -huh. Did you understand, Did you understand my, my question? Did you understand my question? That's right. Did you understand? Did you understand my question? My question. Exactamente. Uh -huh. Did you understand, understand my question? Yes. Number two. 
Okay. With your, your sister. With your sister. Do the homework. Mm -hmm. Your sister, do the homework. What about number three? Did you marry help yesterday? What is the verb? With um help. help. Did you help Mary? Mary with Mary. Did you help Mary with dinner? With dinner. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Es que si ayudó a Mary a cocinar, Did you help Mary with dinner yesterday? What about number four? Would you like the food? Like the food. Number five. Did she? Did she? Did she win the game? The game. Did she win the game? Number six. Did you get up? You get up early yesterday. Did you get up early yesterday? Number seven. Did you want to work? Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work? Number eight. Did you know the truth? Did you know the truth? La verdad, la verdad. La verdad. Did you know the truth? True es verdadero y truth es verdad. Why did you know the truth? What about number nine? Did you go to Did you go to bed early? Mm -hmm. Did you go to bed early? Yes. Number ten. Did you find did you find the key, the keys in the, the key. office? In the office. Yes, did you find the keys in the office? Very good. Okay, now repeat after me. Did you understand my question? Did you, Did you understand, understand my, question? my question? Did your <coughs> sister do the homework? Did your sister do the homework? Did you help Mary with dinner yesterday? Did you help Did Mary you with, dinner dinner yesterday? with dinner yesterday? yesterday? Did you like the food? Did you like the food? Did she win the game? Did she win the game? Did you get up early yesterday? Did you get up early yesterday? Did you get up early yesterday? Did you get up early did you go to work? Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? 
Did you know the truth? Did, Did you know the truth? The truth? Did you go to bed early? Did, Did you, you go, go early? Bed early? <clears throat> Did you find the keys in the office? Did find you find the, the keys in the, the office? office? Okay. Any questions here? Questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. But now, for you to familiarize a little bit more with the structure, we're going to Did have this. Wash her body. Remember, mm -hmm. you're missing the auxiliary and the verb to complete the question. Did Mary wash her favorite program? <clears throat> Did Mary. Did Mary. Uh -huh. Did Mary watch her favorite program? Number two. Watch. Did Jack go Did to the go church go yesterday? Mm -hmm. Did Jack go to church yesterday? Number three. Did Susie write a report last Friday? Uh -huh. Did Susie write a report? Yes. Did Susie write a report last Friday? Number four. Becky? Did Becky find the keys in the drawer? The keys in the drawer. Sure. Drawer and cabetero. Okay. Sure. Number How do you say, teacher? Drawer. Uh, drawer. 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 Y la W y la R es muy. Drawer. 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 Con mudas. Sí. 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 Number five. Where, where, Did Marilyn wear a suit to the party? Did Mark wear a suit? A suit for the party? A suit includes a jacket and pants, right? To be very formal. Okay. Suit. Okay. Jacket and pants. That's suit. suit. Number six. Yes. Did you turn on you? You told me yes. Open the document. Did you turn on you? A pen to sign the document. Document. Mm -hmm. What about number seven? Did Sylvia think about the problem? Did Sylvia think about the problem? Number eight. Did Janet write her bicycle to school? Did Janet ride her bicycle to school? Yes, with Janet. Did Janet ride in her bicycle? Yes. No time? Did Janet try to work yesterday? Yesterday. Try to work yesterday. Did Janet try to work yesterday? Number 10. The best so drink, drink soda at the party yesterday. The best soda at the party yesterday. Number 11. The best thing after work. We have friends after work. Number 12. Did Kimberly Palmer last night? Did Kimberly Palmer last night? Number 13. 
Did Joe, Joe wait for you in the car? Uh, in the car. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> wait for you in the car. That's okay. Did Peter, Did Peter wait for the car last weekend? Last weekend. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, repeat after me. Did Mary watch her favorite program? Did Jack go to church yesterday? Did Jack go to church yesterday? yesterday? Did Susie write a report last Friday? Did Susie write a report last Friday? Did Becky find the keys in the drawer? The Becky Did Mark wear a suit to the party? Did Mark wear a suit to the party? Did Tony use a pen to sign the document? Did Tony use a pen to sign the document? Did Sylvia think about the problem? Did Sylvia think about the problem? About the problem? Did Janet ride her bicycle to school? Did Janet ride her bicycle to school? Did Jack drive to work yesterday? Did Jack drive to work yesterday? Did Bessie drink soda at the party yesterday? Did Bessie drink soda at the party yesterday? Did Bessie see her friend after work? The best Did Kimberly come home early last night? The Kimberly Did Kimberly come home, 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 home early last night? Did Joe wait for you in the car? Did Joe wait for you in the car? Did Peter meet your parents last weekend? He did Peter meet you Adam, last weekend? <laughs> Any questions here? Questions? No, teacher. No question. No question. No question. Very good. Very good. Now, what you're going to do here, right now we have six minutes. So I'm going to give you some time to write three questions, yeah? You will write three questions, whatever you want, okay? So write three yes, no questions, of course, in the simple past, remember, right? Use the simple past. You write your questions while, while I call attendance. But, uh, so you tell me present. Teacher, ahí solo cuando respondemos ya sería con el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Exacto, ya cuando respondemos. Okay. Si da una respuesta corta, puede decir, yes, I did. Sí, y si es la larga, tengo que responder el verbo en pasado. Uh -huh. Yes, I did, I went to the party. Yes, okay, thank you, teacher. Vaya, tell me present, bella Lisbeth. Bella, bella. Carlos Roberto. Present, teacher. Darling, Benis, Edgar Eduardo, present teacher, Gabriel Stephanie, present, Herman Agustin, present teacher, Jessica Raquel, present teacher, good night, good night, Carla Maria, Present, present. Okay. <laughs> Kelly Marcela. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Marcelo. Present teacher. Good night. Mauricio. Mauricio. Miguel Efraín. Present teacher. Good night. Luce Elias. Good night. Luces. Norma Marixa. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pedro Antonio. Present teacher. Okay. Ronald. 
Sabrina Lucet. Roland is present, the teacher in the chat. El chat. Present. 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 Oh, okay. Sabrina, sí, present. <laughs> okay, Tamara. Tamara. Present, teacher. Waldemar. Present teacher, eh, perdón por no contestar al principio, pero venía manejando. Oh, ok, Walter. Walter. Walter, Walter. Vaya, a ver. How, who wants to ask a question? Volunteers. Did you finish with your questions? Who will be my volunteer to ask a question? Mm -hmm. A volunteer. ¿Quién va a ser mi volunteer? Did you sleep well yesterday? Okay. Yes, I did. No, I did. Well, yes. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> ah, so you say, no, I didn't. I didn't sleep well. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sabrina. Who will be my next volunteer? Another question? Hello, Tamara. Ask one of your questions. Okay, teacher. Did you read a book uh, last weekend? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, thank you. Carla? Carlita? Dice, yo prácticamente estoy de oyente, ahorita no he hecho ninguna. <risa> Vaya, la vamos a dar tarea para mañana. Entonces, Carlita. Ok, vamos a ver. A ver, Jessica. Ok, teacher. Did you deliver the container yesterday? Okay. okay. Did you deliver the container yesterday? Yes. Thank you. No, I didn't. Yeah. Marcelo. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Um, uh, did you uh, to work yesterday, teacher? Yes, I did. I went to work yesterday. Uh, Eduardo. No ready, teacher. No ready. No. Nah. Who's ready? Who? Volunteer. Herman. Did you see? Did you see a movie? Listen, teacher. Yes, I listen very well. Can you repeat your question, Herman? Okay. Did you watch uh, TV tomorrow? Yesterday. Okay, yesterday? Yes, I watched TV yesterday. Okay, let's see. One last volunteer will be... Gabi. Gabriela. La última. Gabi. Bueno, son las que están aquí. Let's go. Teacher, ready. Ready. A ver. Do you, do you, do you, did you listen music yesterday? Um, no. I didn't. I we I didn't listen to music yesterday. Imagine. Está mal hecha. No, no lo que está mal es que me pasé un día sin música. Yeah, imagine, imagine That's the boss. Muy bien. Excellent work, chicos. See you tomorrow. 
See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.